Hello everybody and welcome to another amazing Key Smash modded Minecraft tutorial. Today we are going to go through conveyor belts, something that are relatively easy to build and infinitely useful depending on how you use them. Let's get right into it. All right, so this is our little conveyor belt factory. It's nothing much, but it's just to showcase what they can do, not what you all you can do with them. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff going on here in these automatically moving conveyor belts. Before we get into explaining what they do, I'm going to kind of explain how to build them first. So we're gonna step into our little workshop here with all of its unnecessary levers. So the first thing you're gonna wanna build is this bog standard conveyor belt. They are infinitely important for automating things, especially in the early game, because they do not cost that much. As you can see, I went ahead and built all kinds of varieties of them, but we're just going to start off with the simplest of them. All you need is leather, iron ingots, and redstone dust to build yourself one of these. Okay, now that you have your iron, your leather, and your redstone, place two iron ingots, one redstone, like a sandwich on the bottom, and three leather on top, and you have yourself eight conveyor belts. And these are super fun and handy. As you can see, when you go to lay them down, depending on what quadrant of the square you're hovering your mouse over, the arrow will point a different direction. So if I put them like this, I'll move this way when I'm standing on them, and any item that drops on top will also go that direction. Alternatively, you can have them go the opposite direction, so you get caught in the middle and jiggle around a whole bunch. As you can see, we have conveyor belts going up, we have caged conveyor belts. So some of these other orientations are, if you take three conveyor belts and put them in a stack and put an iron on the top and the bottom, you get your vertical conveyor belts. Now these do exactly what you think they would. With vertical conveyor belts, you can make one go forward, and then if you continue the same direction but up, it'll go up. So this will actually bring you up on top of it, like an automatic ladder. You can also take three conveyor belts like this and put an iron in the middle and you're going to get a splitting conveyor belt. A splitting conveyor belt does exactly what you think it would again. All you have to do is lay your conveyor belt down and then put a splitting conveyor belt and it'll take stuff and push it one way or the other way. And it'll do this with each item that you have so you can branch out the amount of items you're sending to different places. Again super neat. One of the last ones that there are are ones that drop items through themselves, kind of like a hopper. They have a trap door on them. And for those, you're actually going to need an iron trap door, which is just four iron. And then you take your conveyor belt and you put an iron trap door underneath it and you get a dropping conveyor belt. And this doesn't work for mobs or people, but when you lay it down, you can see that it has this hole in it or this little trap door, and it'll drop items out from beneath it once the items land on top of it. Nice. The last type that you're going to see here are these covered ones. Now these are a little more complex to make and the only real solution they solve is as you can see with these conveyor belts, you can throw items onto them and there it goes moving. But I just picked the item up because of my proximity to it. With these covered conveyor belts, you see I can't get that item out of there now. So that just prevents you from being able to walk over the item and pick it up. And I, here, I'll take this flower and show that off one more time. You can see the flower is in there moving through, but I cannot pick it up because it is covered. So it's just gonna work its way through. So those are a little more complex because you need two things that I'm not gonna get into explaining how to get, but you will need steel rods and steel ingots. So you take your steel rods and make a little tent out of them like that. And then you put three ingots on top and you're going to get something called steel scaffolding. Once you have the steel scaffolding, all you do is take your conveyor belts, take the scaffolding, not the iron bar, take the scaffolding and you have a covered conveyor belt. And you can make as many of these as you want, but the steel is harder to obtain than just iron, leather, and redstone. So that might be a later game material. So now that you have all of these conveyor belts, there's one more thing that I think will help us a lot with this particular tutorial tutorial and that's iron ingots or iron ingots and oak planks aka the base ingredients for a hopper hoppers are really good for moving items out of chests and onto conveyor belts and vice versa so we're just going to go ahead and make one of those so to make a hopper you need to first make yourself a good old-fashioned chest any bonafide minecraft player can make one of those and then you're going to take that chest put it right in the middle and use five iron to make yourself a hopper so we're going to go ahead and make just a good old handful of those because we're going to need them as we walk around our uh, factory. And boom, now we have eight hoppers, which should be enough to get us around the factory. So we're going to start here. This is just a basic, how do I get items out of a chest 
and into another chest. So I went ahead and filled up all of these chests with diamonds because I've done a lot of mining recently and I have a lot of goodies that I don't want to be sitting near my mine anymore, but I don't want to carry them all back. Diamonds are heavy. So you'll see that I have this chest. I'm just going to go ahead and put a hopper on the bottom. It's going to start ejecting all of these diamonds out onto a conveyor belt and over to another hopper. And down in here, you can see they're being sucked up by the top hopper and placed into this chest. So this is efficiently getting, oh, see, I'm stealing them all all of the diamonds from my mining place all the way back to my base and safely stored away. Super handy. Say though that your base isn't on a flat line. There's a lot of hills between you, your mining camp and your base. Well, that's what this is for. These vertical conveyor belts can be used to surpass all kinds of terrain. So we have our diamonds. Let's go ahead and drop the uh, hopper and watch it start dropping our diamonds out. And oh, a hill, no problem. They're just gonna be taking up the hill automatically, hop off the top, and move over to our uh, hopper yet again and right down into our uh, chest back at base safely home don't have to worry about losing them anymore these work much the same way it's the exact same layout as this setup over here except these ones are caged so full of diamonds put our hopper down you will notice that this one is uncovered at the front that is simply so that the hopper can drop items on top of it but past that i can just watch everything work its way through the hop up here it doesn't cover the corners like that that's just how it's one of the quirks of the mod but it'll come all the way to the end drop things in the hopper and look there's our flower and conveyor belt from earlier and i can't grab these no matter how hard i try so it's a very safe and secure way of moving things without having to worry about touching them the last two little areas that I want to cover on here are going to be the little uh, drop points and, well, I guess there is also the splitter. Instead of having them just fall off the end, if you wanted the items to fall into a hole a little more reliably, then you just use one of these trapdoor ones. So, yet again, we have our chest full of diamonds, and both of these are the same, so I'm just going to fire them up. One's just covered and uncovered. So, you can see here that they're going up on either side. And then as soon as they get to that trap door, they are being ejected out and dropped down into the hopper. So on either side, you can see uh, these things are a pain to walk on. You can see that the diamonds are being safely dropped from the conveyor belt through that trap door and down into your hopper safely back at your base. And what's reliable about these is you can see I left the end open specifically to note that these will not just fly off the rails. They will hit that trap door and be shot down into whatever you have awaiting them below. So also a great way to make a trash chute. If you just want to dump a bunch of cobblestone onto one of these and have it eject down into a pool of lava, you can do that too. The last thing here is just showing the splitter in action. So if you drop all the diamonds out here, walk around and you can see that it's going to split things up based off stack. So uh, it'll read how many ever items are close together and separate them left and right. And I just have them going to a hopper over there. So I'm separating them for no reason here, but for you, if you wanna have half of your mind resources go to base A and half to base B or chest A and chest B even, you can use these splitters to make that a really easy reality. So what can you do with all of these though? Obviously you can move items from point A to point B and that's pretty easy, but uh, what are some specific use cases? Well, things that I like to do are, if you remember our mining turtle tutorial that I've created earlier, you can actually have a mining turtle dig out a huge hole and bring all of its resources back to one chest. From there, you can have the chest automatically empty out using this chest hopper setup onto a conveyor belt, and the conveyor belt will bring all of that from your quarry and mining area all the way back to your base, saving you the trouble of running back and forth and making a hundred trips with your already full inventory. Another good use case is if you remember our blood magic tutorial and you can see our blood magic kingdom up there I mentioned that you have to make sacrifices to the blood altar to collect life essence which is used for most of the rituals in that one of the ways that you can do that is actually by setting up a spawner which I can do a tutorial on later and having it spawn mobs or creatures uh, like livestock on top of these conveyor belts so for instance if I were to put a chicken right here you can see that it's actually being carried by the conveyor belt and it'll even be carried all the way to the top using these vertical conveyor belts. Of course, the chicken isn't gonna land through the hopper, so it'd be a waste of time to do that, but you can use this to drop animals right next to your sacrificial altar and immediately get that sacrifice off on them. So it is super, super handy. I would recommend, however, building a cage though, because as you can see, if I put a chicken on here, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's too tall. 
but if you simply take some blocks and build yourself a little wall all the way around the conveyor belt, it'll guarantee that the chickens or the zombies or whatever mob you're spawning isn't automatically jumping off of your conveyor belt before it gets where you need it to go. Either way, this has been how to use and make basic conveyor belts in modded Minecraft. They are extremely handy for all kinds of things, and I hope that you find some good uses for them. And if you have a particular favorite use, feel free to comment and let us know, and I'll even make it if you want. Just let us know. We'll also make any tutorial that you want all you have to do is throw it in the comments and we'll figure out how to make it happen whether it's this mod pack or any other mod pack we'll teach you how to do what you want to do either way thank y'all so much for joining us here on key smash hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because you know it's free and have a good day bye